I would like to introduce my husband, Chase Ray. Hi guys. Roach, man of my dreams, love of my life. Um, so we're gonna do a Q and A. Okay, so question number one. Uh, when did we meet? Okay, that's pretty easy. It was uh, September twenty ten. Uh, the exact date I can't remember, but I know it was September in the year 2010. Where we met for the first time. Where we met for the first time. For the first time on first a park time. bench. On a park bench somewhere in Halagslaw. Somewhere in Halagslaw, maybe <laughs> location. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is Ooh, this is actually for both of us. So I'll ask. You first to answer now. What was your first opinion of me? Uh, my first opinion yeah, of like you the were... The first, first opinion. Yeah, the first thing I saw is, it's obviously, that you were very beautiful. So, that definitely caught my eye. And that you were easy to talk to. You were very talkative. That made it easier for me. To have a conversation because normally you can chat with somebody but when you meet somebody then the conversation isn't necessarily the same but the conversation was as good as the chats were yes <laughs> okay uh well i must not answer that was my first opinion of you yeah of course yes <laughs> of course yes of course yes <laughs> okay my first opinion of you was um Yes, yeah, so my first opinion of you was also that you were very handsome. Yeah, tall, white guy. And fed, by the way. I no, was, was I fed, liked you guy. that time. I liked you that time. You know I loved I you that time. I was chubby and very unhealthy. But Okay, nevertheless, my <laughs> first opinion of you, my first opinion of you was... That you were very handsome. You Thank see you. this tall white milky bar <laughs> of mine. <laughs> and um you see the fact that we, we got to click so so easy. Um yeah, that was nice for me. You said tall white milky bar. Yeah, tall white milky bar. I was I think it was short at that time. No I was <laughs> short at that time. You see, I was a picaninny by you. Yeah, I think you could fit in my handbag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, when did you know that I was the one? Uh, the moment that I knew you were the one was the moment where I messed up. You know which evening I'm talking about. Mm -mm. I know. I, I messed up bad, but we'll we'll save that for another video sometime. And then maybe I, I did a video about that already. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I like it anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> mm, I think after that, the events of that evening, mm -hmm. then I basically realized, you know what? The next morning, waking up, seeing that you deleted me from all social media. I I knew like this is it like this is the one contact that I can't lose on social media cause So the moment I deleted you from all our socials you knew that I was the one. So the moment I was gone I was the one. No, not like that, not as simple. I just knew that waking up and not having you around mm -hmm. is is not the type of life I want to have. That's why I immediately came to you to apologize for what happened. Because I that was I, that was an eye opener for me to say that you know what, I can't take this person for granted. This person is actually more important to me than I realized at that time. Yeah. So that early in the relationship already you knew I was the one. Yes that early in the relationship okay um how long did it take to plan the wedding it took us a year and two months two months yeah two it took months. us one year and two months to plan our wedding 
And it wasn't easy. No, it wasn't easy. Yes, it was a difficult year. Um, a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifices. Yeah. A lot of sacrifices. But if you really want something, then it's it's worth sacrificing. No, definitely. No, definitely. Okay. Uh, when did you guys get married? 1st of Feb 2020. <laughs> Why would you say the year? Because the year of that slack. <laughs> but, but it's still the year. You okay, it's still the it. year. We got married on the 1st of February this year. At least we got married before the lockdown. So yeah. Yeah. We could still have a normal event. Yes. Yes. And all our family members could come through. And we, we got people together that. Like now it's impossible to see each other because mm. of how things are. Yeah, definitely. So, yes. How did you propose? How did I propose? That's a question for you, Baba. I proposed. It was a normal day and I just tried to act normal mm. because we went to the restaurant, our favorite restaurant. Which, we normally is, have date nights on a Tuesday because we went to our, we go to our favorite restaurant on a Tuesday. Which is Panerotis. So, yeah. And I just acted normal and uh, just out of the blue. I mean, we went to the place where we had our first date, which was Carnival City. Mm -hmm. So I took it down to the place where we had our first kiss. You wanted to take me down to the place where we had our first kiss. But there was construction going there was on there. Construction then. going on. But still, it was close. It was, it was close by, area, yes. So, and then. Just out of the blue, I popped the question. No, but then you said, <laughs> <laughs> then he said, um, no, you, he said, um, let's go to the place where we had our, where we had our first kiss and kiss there. And we wanted to go there, there had construction going on, um, but we stood very close by and then he said, um, let's kiss again. So I went in for a kiss and he went down on his knee and asked me and then I ran away. <laughs> I literally <laughs> ran away <laughs> and then I came back. So yeah, that's how he proposed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next question. What is my worst habit? Your worst habit. I wouldn't actually say that you have a bad habit, like that you can put in a category that's your worst I'm habit. I'm going out of your cup. That's not a bad habit. A bad habit is something that you always do. Yeah, so what is it? What is the one thing that's applicable? I think sometimes that you don't listen to me when I tell you something and then I can see you're not fully paying attention to when I say something. And you know that's the truth. Because you admit it sometimes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> what is your worst habit? Ah, let me think. What is your worst habit? Remind me. What is your worst habit? No, you must give an answer. What is your worst habit? Mm. Yes, you have so a lot of good qualities now. But what is the your one worst habit? <laughs> your worst habit would be getting undressed and not putting your laundry in the laundry basket. That is your worst habit. I pick up your socks every morning. I pick up your clothes every morning. I put your gown away in your cupboard every morning. You take it off. And so just langs and it me. That's your worst habit. <laughs> that is your worst habit. There we go. <laughs> okay. What is my best habit? Your best habit is that you are the most loving person in the world. You care more about others than you sometimes do about yourself. And that's why I love you so much. Because your best habit is you care a lot. You have a very big heart. <laughs> I don't know if that's a habit or it's a quality, but I think that's a good habit. Yeah. Okay, your best habit is uh, the fact that you always ask me if I'm okay. Like you ask me that question a hundred times in a day. You always want me to be okay. 
and i think that's a that's one of your best habits that you have literally from the morning straight through the whole day you always ask me is he okay so that's a good habit for me it's always good to know okay um who wears the pants in the relationship says 34 He definitely makes all the decisions. No, I joke. We make all the decisions together. But this one raised the pants in the relationship. Oh, if you could get rid of one thing about me, what would it be? I wouldn't get rid of a single thing. Neither would I. Mm -mm. There is there is that question. I already is... got rid of one thing of you. Right. I am a shorty, Daniel. Why is it? Huh? It's 2020 and it's winter. No. I'm in mean, a shorty mark. I know where it is. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Okay. Uh, another question. What do we argue most about? One thing we argue most about is. That's actually a good question. That is a good question. Do you even allow us to argue? I think yeah, no, the opposite. You one, never allow us to argue. I absolutely dislike is arguing. We would mm -hmm. argue about small things, but then we fix it immediately because I don't like the household to have a vibe. Okay, of... but what is the small thing? What is now the one thing that we argue most about? The one thing we argue most about. It's actually a difficult question because we don't really argue that much. Yeah, that's actually a difficult question. We don't argue. No, we don't argue. We, we might um, sometimes have a misunderstanding where yes, we're not on the same page about something, but it doesn't turn, turn into like an argument. And an argument. No, we yeah. never had an argument. I think, we we some, I think we sometimes have an argument if we are like stressed out about something mm. and then maybe I deal with it in a different manner or you deal with it in a different manner. Then we just have an argument about dealing with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, who is more affectionate? I am not. What? Baba, you are more affectionate. How so? Because you, like, yes, see, you, you are definitely more affectionate because you always, you, you care, <laughs> you care for me more than I care for you. Now that sounds bad. <laughs> but you are more affectionate. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> what is something that you enjoy doing with me? I would definitely say it's uh, going to the cinema, mm -hmm. watching a movie with you because I love movies. You do? And then the nice thing about that is I get to watch a movie and I get to spend time with you. So. And it's a plus if you enjoy the movie as well. Because sometimes I know some of the movies we went to watch was more my type of movies. But you sat through with me. and so Most was... of the time your type of movies. But I I said I had to sit through the whole Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. With well, me, obviously, mister. Which was some of the worst movies <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. But yes, I was there. How can it be the worst movies? It's like... I think because I, <laughs> oh my word, I think that's the only thing about the movie, but the rest makes no sense. But yes. Okay, so uh, the thing that I like doing with you is shopping. Like our monthly shopping, believe it or not, our monthly shopping for me is like therapy. Even like, not even shopping for me and you. Like monthly shopping for the house is. I think that's a. It's a lekker tijd for me to be with you, Because we make decisions together. 
um, we communicate so a lot. We, we look at things. We together. look at things together, and we decide stuff together. And that's a my lekker tijd, samen met jou. Yeah, that's also nice. Ne? I also like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, who is the funny one? Our basically, there's nobody that's the funny one because our household is just it's crazy. Crack. That is what it is. It's like modern family with less people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or yeah. just all the elements and Amal and modern family. Definitely. Yeah, modern definitely. Family. Okay, who is more outgoing? Uh, definitely you. No, Baba, me now. Me now. No, but like in terms of like seeing people and visiting people, that's, I would always say that's something that you love me yeah. I, me I, I, i love my personal space mm. and i'd rather just play video games home, play video games or watch movies mm. at home but outgoing i'm only now a little more outgoing because i've gotten used to that but me i've always been at home okay hmm would you be Would you prefer to stay at home or go out on a Friday night? We would prefer to stay home. Am I lying? It's actually, that, that is a 50-50. It's a 50-50. You know why it's a 50-50? Because Friday night is normally movie night or TV series night. So, yes. if a new movie comes out in the cinema, we're definitely going out on a Friday night to go watch it. Yeah. But if there's nothing... Maar 90% van die tijd weer om. Ja. We would rather prefer staying indoors than going out. Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Ja. Oké. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you. And then I have to answer the same thing back. Ja. Yeah. Have I ever gotten you something that you didn't like? No. As a gift? No, you, you haven't. Because I... I actually appreciate every gift because you know no 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 cute and stuff like the idea around the gift makes the gift nice like the gift I got this year the whole Paris with the teddy bears oh that is a gift I like a lot I love it actually because the idea and the style and the look of it makes it a very nice gift yeah Yeah, you also didn't get me something that I didn't like. You always got me stuff that I wanted because I talk a lot. So you always knows what I want. So now we never got. Use one word to describe me. Loving. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say loving. I wanted to say loving. Loving. There's a thousand English words you can say. No, I but I it. really wanted to say loving. Like when the question came up, I wanted to say loving. Okay, then we said long loving. Yeah, we said long loving. Okay, that's very loving. But I'm not copycating you. But I wanted to say loving. Okay. <laughs> What is my best physical trait? What is it? Your eyes. And your smile. Aww. Your best physical trait is your hands. Look at them. They're big. They're big. They're big and white. But they are big and white. <laughs> and I love them. <laughs> yeah, you've always been obsessed with I, hands. I have. I've always been obsessed with these hands. Always. What is my best personality trait? personality trait you always energetic you're always mm. energetic and you always have a smile on your face I am always energetic yes I make myself all more but like yeah yeah <laughs> I, am. I am your best your best personality trait is the fact that you and this is what I actually from your wife Leah um you greet people um Honorably. 
greet people with respect. You greet people with respect, yes. That is your best personality trait. I've never heard a young man. So sometimes sometimes um, the guys are not even so much older than you are, but you would say good day, sir. Or yeah. thank you, sir. So that is a very good thing that I love about you. And I start greeting people more also now with respect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who is more likely to get into a fight? <laughs> Answer the question. Answer the question. I, I think by me laughing, I already answered Ooh. the question. Definitely me. Or is it me? No, is it you? I think I'm more likely to get into a fight. Baba, you are so calm. You're so calm in every situation. Me, I'm there already. Like I'm there. Yeah, but I get my times where I absolutely go mental. No, you do get your times where you go mental, and 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 and, and those times are, are are not. But most of the times I keep it. No, most of the times calm, it I keeps keep it calm. Contact. But to answer this question, who is okay. more likely to get into a fight? I personally feel that I'm more likely to get into a fight because how many times do you have to calm me down in a situation? Yeah. So? It's because you're always ready to go. I'm always ready to go. <laughs> like, I'm already. <laughs> go. That's all our questions. Fight mode. And there we go, guys. That is the end of our Q&A. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you so much for being in my video, Mr. Hobby. I uh, love and appreciate this guy. It has been fun answering some questions with him. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button, like I said, in order for you to get a notification each time I upload a video. Up until next time.